This is a one pot dish. So the pot you use for this is very important. I am using a cast iron pot, but you can use a heavy bottom non-stick pot, even that will work well. The heavy bottom pan are important because they hold the heat quite well. So the first thing is we're going to heat up the pot. You can use a pan also, even that works perfectly fine. So a small saute pan also would work well. Little oil. I'm using vegetable oil, but you can use any other type of oil. You can use olive oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil, corn oil. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to heat up the oil. It's nice and hot. And all you put in that is chicken pieces. I like to have the chicken pieces without the skin. But if you want to put them with the skin on, it's perfectly fine. Then you put the skin side down first. You can also use chicken thighs. They work equally well. It lightly season the chicken with salt. and some cracked pepper. The whole idea here is to actually sear the, each side of the chicken. It is nice and golden. And when you do that, you also almost cook the chicken. But once the chicken gets cooked, then we add in the potatoes and cook the potatoes along with the cream. And finally add the chicken back to absorb. So it's very important that at this stage, we try and cook the chicken as much as possible. Chicken has got nice and golden. You could lower the heat and take out the chicken breast. Now in the same pan, you don't need to wash the pan, you don't need to wipe out the oil. In the same pan, add in the potatoes and increase the heat now. And now it's the turn of the potatoes to literally cook in this flavoured oil. So all the flavour of the chicken is also in the pan, it's in the oil. And that flavour is all going to go into the sauce and into the potatoes. Season the potatoes. The pan is extremely hot. Cast iron really retains the heat quite well. So you always use a piece of cloth to hold the pan.
The potatoes also have sliced them with the skin on. It's quite nice to have the skin which cooks into the oil, it becomes a bit crisp. It also gives a very nice color, so visually it looks quite nice and the skin is kept on. Just want to make sure that the potatoes almost get half cooked because the thin slices they cook quite fast. Here you can see, let's flip them over, they're turning golden. And let the other side cook. And while that cooks, in this I'm going to add a good amount of garlic. Now again, garlic is a personal preference. It goes very well with this dish. If you don't like garlic, you can actually reduce the quantity. I've got a good tablespoon and a half of paste of garlic or minced garlic. I also like to put in some smoked paprika. You can use red chili powder, you can also use cane pepper, it works well. And dried oregano. And I'm going to use fresh rosemary. Just lightly pulled off from the stem. I'm going to reserve some for the last use. Now this is a very good tip to have, firstly reduce the heat down, you don't want the spices to burn or the potatoes to burn or the herbs to burn, so reduce the heat down. Now the stem or the stalks of herb like rosemary have got a very good flavour and have a very good uh, uh, taste to it, a good aroma. You also have a lot of natural oil, so don't throw them off, just break it up slightly and as you break them up, they release the oils and you put it into your dish. Now you can't really eat them, but once the dish is done, you can just literally take them out and put them in a bin. But what they do is they impart a lot of flavor to the dish. At this stage, I'm going to cover it on a low heat. I'm going to let that probably steam and bake at the same time. So the, the cloche keeps the liquid inside and helps the potatoes to cook well. I have not stirred it too much because if I stir it too much, the spices will burn. I probably give that in a couple of minutes and then add in the cream. Oh, look at that. Oh, the aroma is so nice. As soon as you open the lid, all the aromas come wafting out. Now, lightly toss them around. I'll add the chicken. Toss the mixture. And then it goes in a cup of cooking cream. And that's about it. All I will do at the last stage is add some salt and some black pepper. Salt only if it's required. I have added salt earlier. So only check the seasoning. There is a smoked paprika which gives a very nice kind of a sweetish uh, piquant or a chili fla uh, flavor to it. If you want, you can add chili flakes also. It will work well. And this, I need to increase the heat. Bring the mixture to a boil. Once the mixture has come to a rapid boil, reduce the heat down and the cloche goes back on. And this will now cook for another 3 to 4 minutes till the chicken is perfectly cooked and the potatoes are cooked and all the flavors of the 
spicy and the herbs are absorbed into the sauce. It's time to now check if the chicken and the potatoes are done. Be very careful, there's a lot of steam trapped inside. You can see it's all coming out from the top. So always when you open the lid, open it away from you and never towards you because steam comes towards your face. Smells very nice. Very, very nice. It's got a very nice kind of a creamy tan color to it. Just what I was looking for. When you add the classic Kashmiri red chili or the, the Degi red uh, chili powder, it gives a very strong red color. But with smoked paprika, you get the nice flavor, but you don't get the deep, rich red color. A slight amount of chili comes through, but not too sharp. Time to taste. Oh, nice. It's got a very nice flavor of the chicken because it's cooked into the sauce. The rosemary flavor and the oregano flavor has come out quite well. Not spicy, spicy or sharp as such, but nice flavorful. And if you look at the potatoes, they're nicely cooked. See when they fold in, they break. That tells you that the potatoes have been cooked well. This dish is almost ready. It's now time to put the final garnish, which is just some fresh rosemary leaves. If you have thyme, you can add rosemary, you can have lemon thyme or thyme. Works very well. For me, I just love rosemary. It's a great combination with cream, with some garlic, with some pepper, and with poultry, chicken, and potatoes. A classic combination. The light is switched on, and we're all set to enjoy the meal now. So here we have our creamy potato and chicken with rosemary and garlic. This is a one pot dish. I would recommend you serve it as it is into the pot on the table and get some nice crusty bread to dip into it and enjoy. So until next time, happy cooking. Don't forget to make it for your friends and for my family. And also lastly, don't forget to tag me. Bon appetit.